Well done. <laughs> Welcome to this, which is the 2023 KTM RC8C. So let's get straight into it. First off, it looks pretty bloody lush. Uh, I mean, all I can see is literally this. <laughs> okay, I'll just move over. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite impressed and amazed that it's come around so quickly to be updated because it was, what, only two years ago? Uh, was it last year? It Was it even last year? <laughs> I can't remember, yeah. I think it was last year, yeah. Maybe 18 months was last year. Um, but I was gutted I didn't get to buy one. I was gutted I couldn't afford one. And But what a great product to have a smaller CC, but lightweight, lightweight, that's the key, lightweight bike yeah. to actually really enjoy. And I think that's the difference between going out, spunking a load of cash on a super bike, wrestling that round and tearing yeah. tires apart and pump, getting pump. Get absolutely knackered <laughs> when you could just do lap after lap on that. I mean, yeah. I haven't ridden one, so if KTM would like to <laughs> lend us one for the day, we would very much like to turn up and I ride. think the whole, the whole ethos of having this bike or bikes like this when you have less horsepower. I mean, the old bike was 128, I think. So let's get straight into some of the details, shall we? Okay, yes. But the ethos, no, the ethos behind it about having a lower capacity bike, there's so much to be said for smashing the granny out of a smaller bike, as most people, well, not most people, as some people should agree. I think, you know, you have so much more fun when you're not being ridden and you're riding it. And yeah, look, there's a time and a place for thousand cc sports bikes. I'm not a super bike. I'm not. I'm not denying that at all. But I just yeah. So for 2023, the horsepowers, the Great British horsepowers, goes up to 135. So it's a seven horsepower increase. And it's the same engine. So give me some engine stats on this because we had a bit of an off camera. It's an 890. It's, it's basically the 890 engine. So the LCA engine. Parallel twin. Yes. Taken from the 890 essentially and just properly breathe on right thanks for 2023 power is up to I say, seven horsepower up to 135 at 11,000 rpm and that is done through lighter titanium valves and com rods as well as two piston rings higher compression ratios a bigger throttle body removing the top balancer and adjusting the crankcase balancer shaft have delivered durability gains and an additional pankle oil cooler which helps with thermal stability. Pankle. Pankle. I like that name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've got an itchy pankle. <laughs> or a hard pankle. <laughs> oh, I think, yeah. Oh, titanium yeah. pankle. Oh. Rod. Going back to the kind of stats side of thing, 135 horsepower. You know, a lot of people crank, go... Crank, crank. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crank, yeah. So, but that's the magic That's the magic number, though, isn't it, really? About 110, 115 at the, uh, uh, at the wheel. At the wheel. I think it's 100, 120, yeah. But when you consider it weighs 142 kilograms dry, with a good rider on it, it's not going to be far off a superbike anyway. So, and I've I've been on track with one of these at, where was, where were we? No, I didn't know. I was, there was someone was, where was it? Where were we riding? A track day. Where was I riding at a track day? Anyway, I've been on track with them and they have, Bloody quick. Bl bloody ruddy quick they are. They need to give us one. Loan us they one. They do. Lend us one. Borrow yeah. us one. Let's get back into the PDF, shall we? <laughs> so, of course, um, which is, I think this is a really confusing thing. Obviously, the, this was the last bike. The, the original bike was in conjunction with Kramer. And obviously, that's no bad thing. But KTM, with all their, you know, they own Pankel. They own you know, their own do W. They own, do they yeah. own Pankel? Yeah, the that. KTM group own Pankel. So... They own but they've just supplied the rods and stuff for the BMWs. Have they? Yeah. Mutiny in the ranks. Well, it could be an Austro-Bavarian yeah. collab. <laughs> Log in. No, don't. That's imagine, my, that's... imagine if that slipped. Yeah. Well, um, as long as it didn't hit the bikes, we'd be right. Kramer, working with Kramer, considering all of KTM's know-how and kind of... Uh, manufacturing processes and all they have in house chassis development chassis development and all you know they're MotoGP Moto yeah, winners yeah, let's yeah. not let's and, not and they built they used to build Moto2 frames mm. and they built Moto yeah, they, they are GP chassis so they're not short shy of knowledge but working again with Kramer Motorcycles for fabrication the 2023 KTM RC8C is now one of the company's clearest racing expressions full of capability and intent whether a rider in the next is the next brand I can't fucking see hang on I reckon, well, you're figuring that out. 
I reckon I, I reckon they're working with Kramer because it's a it's a smaller run fabrication yeah. process. Okay. They they wouldn't set up a whole department okay. of their yeah, yeah. building to make fifty bikes or however many they're making. So I think it's probably that's probably a reason. It's more of a industrial scale versus bespoke handmade. Well, there are only two hundred editions of the twenty twenty three. And how many were there last time? I can't remember. I can't remember. It wasn't there was many. No, similar amount. I thought it was less. I thought it was like 50. no, 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 no. It was it was in the, it was in the hundreds, um, right. and uh, no doubt as soon as this goes out, which on embargo day, I think they'll probably be sold, which is a real shame. But which leads me to the question: I mean, when we first heard a little rumor of this bike coming out, we both went, "It better be a road bike. Please be a road bike." Mm. But I mean, it's not. It's not. I mean, just. Imagine this bike on the road. It would, it would. I guess you couldn't have the extravagances and the, you know, the nice bits and bobs on it because it's thirty four nine nine nine. But yeah, on the road, I mean, oh, it would absolutely fly out. But you got to blame the EU, haven't you? And, and all of the stuffy regulations and mm. people climbing up fucking tubes to stop the M twenty five and all this stuff. So that's that's the world we live in, unfortunately. Um, and homologation must be. A process like I know you have to write off like a shitload of vehicles to actually be approved as a road vehicle. So I'm going to take heart and think that it's coming. It is going to come. It's got the engine. That's the most important thing. Yeah, they will be able to make the chassis in time once they're developing this yeah. bike. And I think that's what this is as a development. And that's probably why we're seeing two quick releases of this bike because it's yeah. a continual development. Yeah. So I think they're almost going, hey, this is what we want to build yeah. in five years' time, but we need to make sure it works. So let's work with smaller manufacturers, Kramer, etc. Let's build the bike, make it absolutely mint. Then when we're sure, we'll we'll push the button. Aren't you clever? I am pretty fucking yeah. clever, yeah. Um, but let's not forget, KTM built probably one of the, if not the, best handling bikes ever with RCA the RCA R. And I'm not, you know, let's not go down the route of bring that bike back. But this this bike right here, the RC8C, goes to show that people want it. People are crying out for it. So please, KTM, please mm. be a, We don't want that. We don't have to have the exotic exhaust and airbox carbon and carbon. Fiber no, but fairing. We don't, we don't, we're not, in fact, I don't want carbon fiber fairing. No. Because as soon as you throw it in the gravel. No. Which is what you want to do with this. No, you don't want to throw it in the gravel. But it's what you want to do with lightweight, smaller bikes. Is you really want to push them and absolutely give them a good old hammering. And if it does fall over, you don't want to be like, oh my God, I've just written off yeah, my yeah, V4 true. Panigale. It's too expensive. Yeah. So, but it does beg the question, though. I mean, it is a strange category. If it's not for ultimate road, then the category, it's not quite, it doesn't meet the world's super sport regulations. Not yet. Not yet. But... Actually, no, it it does. It sh it could do because the Ducati is well. The Ducati is in it, but but, but not doing very well. The, I guess it's the homologation price. So once the bike comes down to a road spec, mm, that's a good point. Yeah. Once it comes down to a cheaper spec, and it's been proven, then hopefully it can be raced. Because yeah, I mean, but yeah. but would you choose? But why would you race a hundred and thirty brake parallel twin against a hundred and fifty brake? Because it's fifty kilos lighter. But it won't be at that point, though, will it? But it will be in race trim. Anyway, who knows? Anyway, it's just, it's a, it's yeah. a, it's a, they, they've obviously got a plan. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the likes of Dorna and KTM speak pretty regularly on what's happening. So maybe this is going to indicate a rule change. Maybe it's a super twin thing. Maybe it's super twin. Maybe, you know, mm, no, it's, it's too super to be a super twin. <laughs> it's way too a super, super duper twin. <laughs> <laughs> An Uber twin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, but who knows what's coming down the line, mm. right? Mm. So uh, either way, I want one. I, well, I want to ride one, yeah. desperately. Desperately. So let's run through the highlights quickly. So we've got the revised LCHC uh, inline twin, aka parallel twin, with titanium components, seven horsepower. Um, adjustable throttle response, traction, launch, anti-wheelie control, and engine braking adjustment. New titanium Akropovich exhaust system helping contribute to light 142 kilogram dry weight. Uh, we've got fresh W pre fresh WP Pro components, high quality Brembo brake system with styler calipers, and we've got a Costa Coffee master cylinder. Costa Quarter. We, we yeah, just, sorry, yeah, sorry. We Co got into Corsa, the habit of calling it Costa Coffee, but it's, it's Corsa Quarter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
uh, racing parts, rims, chain, carbon f- com- carbon fiber, CNC, triple clamp, handlebar switches, new AIM... Carbon fiber, triple clamp? No, CNC, triple oh. clamp. <laughs> new AIM touch, tacho <laughs> dashboard, <laughs> race <Tasha>. gearbox, <laughs> uh, shift pattern, airbox, an air filter, and parts prone to crash damage can be quickly replaced. And it is, I mean, if you look at the detail of the bike, it is a racer. I mean, again, going back to what we were saying earlier... Obviously, it, it can be adapted into road form very easily. It's not going to take much. But if you look at the detail, and this is being built as a racer, which, again, is strange because it can't be raced anywhere much at the moment. Um, I know there's obviously Kramer, and I've seen a few KTMs worldwide being raced in individual in, in uh, uh, national championships where they've gone, you know what, come on in, have some fun, more numbers on the grids, etc. So hopefully that will uh, continue. Uh, KTM RC16 derived aerodynamics as you can tell by the wings and razor sharp black graphics with distinctive orange frame and as I said yeah so uh, only 200 of the bikes will be prepped uh, will be built um, and orders can be made only through the dedicated page on www.ktm.com insert link <laughs> I think that PDF hasn't been uh, approved yet uh, but yeah but some of you probably got to this point in the video they probably sold out so it was it was eighteen hours the last one took I think wasn't it? Oh, was it? I thought it was less than that. Mm, what do I know? What do I know? Fucking mate, it doesn't smell. It does look quite small though, doesn't it? Um. Well, yeah, it's going to be. I know, but why? I just I wish why, there was why a make big it bigger? Huh? Why make it? Why do you have to make it big? For me. It's all about you, isn't it? Yeah, I love. I mean, like the it's just got. I mean, I don't think that would work on the road. The the rear mounted fuel ca- fuel, fuel cap. I think it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, but you know that's not going to work on the road. And obviously, the under seat tank, all that. You know that is just a dummy. All of that underneath the seat is uh, is fuel tank. But it's um, it looks special. Oh my word! It, Thirty-two grand, you say? Thirty-four nine nine nine. So that or a um, M one thousand RR. I'd have that. That's way more special mm. and fun. And it's going to save you some money on tires. Mm, exactly. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Hang on. Brought to you by WD forty with the extendable nozzle. No, no, no. I'm not going to squirt you in the face for God's sake. But hang on. It's gone. It's gone. Of course, it's gone. It's magic. It's magic. It's WD forty. So yeah, I mean, is is that is that it? Have you you've gone through? That's the... pretty much it. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, ultimately, it looks sexy. It's probably going to oh, be one of the nicest bikes to ride on track that you've ever ridden. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, it's even got a little aero, I know. swingy army thing. I know. It's just I such th- a strange... Th- but they're like that, KTM, aren't they? It's the same with, we're never going to make another sports bike like a super bike on the road. It's the, sa- it's the same I, thing. I don't, as long as Mr. Pier is in charge, I don't think they will. But, but why... Like, there has to be something for this. There has but, to be. They, they wouldn't just yeah. make it. It's a waste of money. But that's not... Uh, that, this is not classed as a super bike, though. No, exactly. But, what I'm, but again, it's another sort of project which, which potentially doesn't look like it's going anywhere because at the moment... We can't see where it would, apart from rich track day goers. That's all that that's all that you can do with this at the moment, right? Yeah, and as and the aforementioned racing in certain environments and classes. But yeah, uh, I think there's a rule. There's got I mean, to be a rule. If you entered this in Sound of Thunder, it would absolutely annihilate anything. We should see if we can uh, do one for our little endurance racing. What do a um, rem racing? Rem racing. Yeah. Anyone who's got an RC8C. Get in touch. We'd love to wreck it for you. Surely KTM have, can't we? Just go go there. I asked. Even like a slightly do- like a prep dodgy one, backdoor that's Barry one. Yeah, that's yeah. been scratched. Prototype Pete. Anyway, right. excellent, excellent. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. Can you put it all in your mouth, Dragon? <laughs> Ah, oh, that's horrible on your teeth. <laughs>